We need to start building boys to men because now these boys are not paying for the days. Like, oh, it's a bit of 50 50. What's up, guys? It's your boy Andrew FAQ here with you, but no, stop, stop, man. Why? What's what, what have you got, man? What's up guys, it's your boy Andrew FAQ here with you with another YouTuber. If you haven't joined the channel yet, join the channel man. Support, subscribe, like, comment, do what you have to do. Because we're trying to help you guys, young men, improve yourself in the dating market. Because I know it's hard out here. So join the channel guys and today we're going to grow and help you guys become more and more better versions of yourself. Alright, let's get to the video. Today, we're going to be discussing 7 reasons why women dislike you. Number one, stop trying too hard to make her like you. Guys, I'm telling you now, yeah? I've seen guys, I've been a victim myself, when you feel like you're the shit, but you're trying too hard, you're trying too hard to get her attention. You're like, look, look at me, I'm in shape. Look at me, you should like me. You don't need to do that. She, that you need to downplay your success, downplay um, your fitness, downplay how you look. Even though it's evident that you're in shape, it's evident that you're successful, but let her hype it up. Let her see it and be like, whoa, you're doing this. You're doing that. And you be like, no, you know what? It's okay. I'm, I'm all right. Downplay it because it makes it look like you got more going for yourself. If you're in the face saying, look, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. She's going to be like, this guy is trying too hard. It must be something he's hiding. What's he insecure about? You're going to highlight insecurities that you're not even sure about. But if you're calm, you're, you're sure of yourself, you're assertive. I'm telling you now, she's gonna be like, whoa, you're doing this. Oh, look at your body, look at your chest. Oh, I love it. She's gonna be telling you so much stuff about yourself. And you're gonna be like, yeah, you know, well, you know, yeah, I do go gym five times, five times a week, you know, yeah, you know, it's, it's calm. Yeah, you're, you're just calm with it, you know what I mean? And she's just gonna be like, this guy is so humble by himself. But deep down, obviously you're excited. You're like, haha, yeah, of course, I'm the shit. Come on, man. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm the shit. But you gotta downplay it. Don't be in her face, don't try too hard, like, I'm telling you, I see guys in the gym that be up in a girl's face. Man, wow, the other day, <laughs> I saw a guy talking to a girl. This guy was speaking lyrics to the girl, bro. I was watching it thinking, what? Like, you're, you're, talk, you're trying too hard. The girl felt so uncomfortable. I saw it. The guy was spitting game after game after game. Bro, I'm like, you really put her off because now you made her look like you got used to talk to women. The guy was asking the girl on a date straight away, like, oh, I can take you here, you know? Yeah, trust me, you want, you, you want this from me. The girl's like, okay, I'll think about it. He's done the wrong move. I was thinking, if I was him, I'd have been like, hey, how are you? What's your name? Rare, rare, rare. Okay, you know what? We should be, we, we should meet up one of these days. What's your Insta? What's your number? Done. I'll holler at you later. Quick, concise, out of there. In and out. You spend time with her talking to her, but you've lost, you lost it. Because now she's thinking, this guy, he hasn't got no time. He, he's, he's trying too hard. Number two, your reputation is tarnished by another woman. Guys, listen, I always promote treating ladies well. Treat your lady well, man, because trust me, if you don't treat them well, they're going to have a reason to talk shit or talk bad behind your back. Girls have group chats and that. And they'll be saying, oh, this guy, he, he didn't even want to pay for the meal. He didn't uh, I'm offer me an Uber. Me, if I'm going on a date, I'm going to make sure that I pay for the meal. And after, even if we had sex or anything, I'm going to make sure I take a home on my own car or get an Uber. Because I want to make sure that 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 area there is not tarnished. So if she's talking shit about me, I know it's all lies. Sometimes I always set up a camera, bro. Right? Because I know nowadays, as you level up, women will try to bring you down. As you can see, Andrew Tate, he's going through all these allegations. Women are trying to make things up about him. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm saying the guy seems genuine, right? And a lot of women are making allegations of what he done 10 years ago, 15 years ago. So you got to protect yourself, guys. Always treat women with respect because women will, if, especially if they're exes and that, they're bitter. Like, I've got exes that are bitter, they want to try and tarnish your name, but you know, if you don't well by them and you treat them nice, you got nothing to hide. You be like, no, I treat you nice. I treat you like a lady. You know what I'm saying? So always keep that energy with women because women will find a way to tarnish your name if you don't do the right thing. So guys, always represent yourself well when it comes to women. I always see guys always say, oh, I saw, I met this girl. I didn't like her, so I didn't want to pay for her. Pay for you. No, guys, stay stoic. Always pay for the first date. That's us as men. Pay for the first date. Even though you don't like the chick, pay for it because you should know that's it. I ain't gonna holler again, but I pay for the first date. Men, we need to start building boys to men because now these boys are not paying for the days. Like, oh, it's a bit of 50 50. Do you know what I mean? And that's becomes, it's, just, it's, not, it's not the way you want to behave, man. Men, we've got to go back to the old traditional days. 
pay for the first date. If you don't like her, don't holler at her again. You know what I mean? If you like her, you offer her another date. But eventually, she doesn't ask you to be like, oh babes, I'm gonna take you out. Then maybe you might wanna consider getting rid of that girl. But first couple dates, men, you gotta pay for it just to set the tone of the relationship. I'm gonna control this relationship. I'm gonna put my foot down this relationship. Don't make it be the other way where it's like, okay, it's my turn, it's your turn. Okay, I mean, it's, it's my turn now. Then now, the dynamic relationship is a 50-50 relationship. It's never 50-50, guys. I always say, my role is 80-20 rule. You put 8%, she puts 20%. Control the relationship, become the man. Don't become a boy, become the man relationship, control the relationship. And that's the point number two. Don't tarnish your name. Number three, do not, and I repeat, do not allow other men disrespect you in front of a lady or someone that you like or in general because i'm telling you now men will try and check you to see if you are that man that you say you are you are and if your woman is there and a man is checking you and you don't say nothing about it, you let it slide she's eventually not going to like you man she's going to get put off and be like this guy that i want to protect me is allowing guys to push him over guys you got to learn how to protect yourself man i'm saying it i don't promote violence but learning the fundamentals of boxing or muay thai Anything that's come defensive is going to help you become more confident when you're out in the streets. Because now, guys are trying to start, start trouble with men just to see that he's the weak one. Make sure you get your body right. So when I'm out in the streets, I've got my chest pushed out. I, I, I'm not trying to be, I'm the baddest man. But I'm saying, I'm a man. And I, if you try and check me, someone's losing their teeth. That's just it. I mean, I'm, someone's going to lose their teeth. Period. And I'm, 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 I mean, that's what it is. So, more time, guys, I make friends. They ain't gonna try and start trouble because they know that, like, okay, this guy knows how to prepare himself. But you come up with like, a weak link, listen, this is the concrete jungle. If you're a weak link, guys are gonna check you and try and take a girl off you. You're gonna be like, bro, why is that girl with this waist, man? I'm gonna try and check him. And before you know, he's putting her hands on you and before you know, your girl seeing that, more time she's gonna, she's gonna get put off, man. Even though she loves you, she's gonna be like, this guy is not the guy that I thought he was. Like, I'm not saying go and fight for a woman, but don't make nobody um, sheaf you up, man. I, I, I'm not allowing it. Me? Is in if if I have to go down that way, then it what it is. I'm not allowing it. It's, it's not. It's not. In, it's not in me. I can't allow someone to chief me off. I'm gonna walk off. It's it's, 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 it's yeah it's to the death, man. It what it is. So guys, learn how to fight. So don't allow anyone to uh, ruin your name, violate you. Don't allow it. Protect yourself at all times, man. Learn how to fight. And so when it comes down to the street stuff, hopefully it sorts out verbally, not physically. That's point number three. Don't allow any man disrespecting you. Number four is improving your voice when it comes to talking to women or talking to other men. Listen guys, as men, as you become older, a voice, you've got to practice speech therapy because your voice is how men and women are going to respect you. If you've got a speaky voice, man, hello, hello guys, hello. Mate, I'm sorry, but more time they're going to try and pick on you. Even though you might be, a, you might be a mentally and physically strong, because your voice ain't got a bass in your voice, women ain't gonna respect you. Women want that guy assertive voice. They'll be like, babe, we're going here. Like, babe, we're gonna do this. That assertive voice is gonna make her come, come and check. She's gonna try, try to talk to you. When it comes to arguments, she's gonna listen and not try to over talk you. If you got a speaky voice like her, like, ah, hello, she's gonna try to over talk you. But if you put that voice like, yo, like, I'm, I'm talking to you, she's gonna hear that bass voice. Guy's gonna be like, okay, he's got a bass in his voice. This guy is not a little kid. So make sure you practice proving your voice box, proving your, the way you speak. Make sure you got a deep and depth voice because I'm telling you now as you become a man, you don't want to have a squeaky voice. It's going to be difficult for you to, to even like to, to represent yourself in interviews. Having a squeaky voice as a man, you're going to lose respect from the world. So make sure you improve your voice. Try and get some and speech therapy. Try to put more bass in your voice. Eventually your voice box will break and become a man and you're gonna stand out in the crowd. Number five, <laughs> stop dressing like a bum. Guys, I mentioned this in my previous video, you need to start wearing fitted, stretch fit clothes to allow the, your body to show its true definition. Stop wearing baggy fits, stop looking like a school kid or a bum from the streets. Guys, fitted clothes is in fashion. Don't listen when a female says, I prefer the guy that's a baggy clothes. Women will say one thing and do another thing more times. I'm telling you now, don't say, I don't like the bad boys, but then you see the guy that she's with or the guy that she's sleeping with her is a bad boy. So I'm saying, so don't be that guy that be like, oh, I'm gonna be, wear the baggy fit. No, get in shape. Won't be like, oh, I prefer the dad bod, but the guy that she's sleeping with has a six pack. 
don't allow, don't listen to these things, man. Make sure you listen to a man's advice. Because I'm telling you now, more time, women's advice is not what they want. They just say that because it sounds politically correct. Don't go for it. So make sure you wear clothes that will show your muscles, your biceps. Even this top here is from Zara. Baggy, it's like slightly baggy fit, but the arms, shows, flare. You can see it in fashion, stands out. My chest is there, as you can see, boom. See the cuts in the chest. So it shows my workouts improving. My physique's looking good. So make sure you wear something that's going to improve your physique, your facial structure. Don't be wearing something that's going to um, diminish your, your physique by wearing something baggy and you can't tell if you have muscle, if you have a chest. Always trying to enhance that by wearing fitted, stretch fit clothing. You can get that in a budget, Zara, H&M. You don't have to go into Moss Bros and buy a suit that's costing you over four, five hundred pounds. You can easily get something easy, less than a hundred pounds, that will improve your look and overall become more attractive to women. Number six, stop being shy around women, guys. I know when you see a beautiful girl, you're like, whoa, this girl is a baddie. And automatically you go into that, oh, let me compliment her. I want her to like me. Guys, if you act shy around them, they can sense that. And be like, this guy's not used to being around good looking women. I'm, not, I'm gonna friend zone him or use him. That's how women are gonna think straight away. But if you come out across a stoic, calm and you know how to approach them more time gonna be like this guy is used to speaking to women of my caliber i'm not even that not that that nice to him you know what i mean he doesn't see me as whoa he's like well you're beautiful whatever but i want to take you out because he's used to having girls like like me around him so if you, if you run a beautiful girl don't be looking down make sure you keep eye contact make her look away make her get shy because if you start looking around you you're sort of like playing your pockets you're like hey 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 gosh like gosh like, this guy this guy is not seeing a girl like me before he's only seen in magazines on his dreams and from there your friends on you and more time use you don't be that guy be that guy that she's like whoa this guy he's so stoic he's used to being girl, um, girl, um, around girl, girls like me he knows how to talk to me he's calm he's collected he doesn't he's not trying to do he's not trying too hard he's being very precise of what he wants that's gonna turn her wrong guys I'm telling you I've been in situations where I'm in baddies and I'm just like eye contact throughout. What's your name? I'm just giving. I'm just. I'm straight. I'm straight to the point. I'm just like, listen, you're bad. I'm bad too. When you're a confident guy, you know you're bad. You're like, you're bad. I'm bad too. Like, you know you fine. When you start working yourself, you be like, me being your life the benefit to you. Don't other way around. So don't get to the side. Yeah, you got a nice fat booty. So cute face. So, so, okay. Don't be. Don't be like, whoa. And at times, I, I mean, it's times I. I seen that baddie. I'm like. I'll tell my friend like yo whoa but I'll never go to her and be like whoa I'll tell my friend like yo did you see that baddie like but I'll never go to her and be like yo I'll be like yo how are you I'll be calm and she'll be like this guy's calm give a smile but always stay stoic don't give out too much of your energy because she's gonna be thinking this guy's too excited to be around me why is he so excited he hasn't been around girls like this no always be like listen I've been around baddies you're just another one and if you're lucky you might become my girlfriend number seven and it's the final point you take too long to ask her out. Guys, I know when you see a baddie, you're just trying to you're trying to play the long game. So maybe if I play the long game, she might eventually like me. Be precise, concise, and get to the point. Let's go out this day if you're free. Tell her what you want. Tell your attentions. Girls like it if you tell them their attentions. Obviously, you can't tell them the raw attentions. Sometimes you just want to... But you can't tell them that because sometimes they'll be like, oh. Sometimes you can. Ain't gonna lie. Depends on the attraction. Listen, there's times when I have said that and it's happened the first day. But it depends, right? Some girls find it offensive. Oh my day, it's like, you think I'm a hoe? No. But it depends on that, that energy. Go up energy. Sometimes be like, man, shh, I'll, I want to go back out. And they'll be like, for real? And they get excited. And before you know, it happens, man. So it depends on the energy. But more time, don't tell you what I'm Just say, oh, let's go out and see how energy is. And more times, because they like how you're confident. So most guys nowadays, I ain't saying that to them. Just playing around the friend zone and they're just gonna keep in the friend zone for validation. Don't be that guy that gives a validation. Be straight to the point. Let's go out to eat. You know, I'll take you out. Take her somewhere nice, somewhere not too expensive to show like this is the lifestyle. And hopefully, if she likes you, take her on a second date. But don't be taking too long messaging her in a DM or messaging her, hey, how are you? And don't get to the point. Try to get a date in there, fix a date in there. At least then she knows your attention. Boom. Because we know, because listen, guys, we like what we see, women like what they hear. 
you see something they know already this guy wants to mm, mm, mm. they know you want to do that like if women can read your mind they'll, just, they'll, they'll be like whoa those guys we just want to smash after if a woman shows her worth then you might want to give her the relationship status women control who has sex men control who gets relationship i mentioned in my previous video women are the gatekeepers to sex no matter regardless of who you think you are or what you think you are if a woman ain't gonna give you sex you ain't getting it man trust me they're the gatekeepers of sex but guess what once she lets off that box she loses all powers instantly instantly lose all her powers guess why because she's giving her, her giving up her prize joy which is her which is her box but the minute she gives it up you have all the powers you can say like that hmm so why should i take on a second date you sit confidence because she's giving up she's giving up what you want the minute she's, she prolongs it now now you're like shit she's prolonging it man like, she's still got the powers so you're, you're you're trying to i mean trying to impress her because she, she's still been giving you the box the minute she gives that box to you you have all the keys after that guys remember that she controls who has sex you control who gets the commitment always remember that that's it guys seven points that women dislike about you so make sure you avoid all of that and improve yourself so the woman that you want will like you instantly i hope you like this video guys like i said click the subscribe button like comment as well guys i want you guys to start putting comments on this in the video so allow this video to come more and more viral man get these videos out there join the team join the community faq vlogs faq fitness on instagram till next time people peace